Who? What's up, people? This is Mr. Brandon here, and today we have the FCB 1010, and we're going to be programming that for use with Reason. This controller is straight from the box, so we are not using a different PROM chip with it. This is the factory PROM chip. So basically what we're going to be doing is setting up this controller for 10 different banks, which is 100 different control changes that we can use inside of Reason. So let's get into the first one. Right now I have bank 00 open and we're gonna edit one of the switches. So let's go ahead and select one. We press it and there'll be a solid LED lit above it. Now to edit that, we gotta hold down down. And so open up the preset configuration. You can see that green light blinking. Now on your controller, if you just pull it out of the box, you might have these switches activated. Uh, I'm not using switches right now, so I have those turned off. And to move on, let's just hit enter and you can see which settings I have active. Now on yours, you might have three, four, and these control changes active. So to turn those off, just like I turn them on, hold it down till the solid LED goes away. And if you didn't have these on, go ahead and hold those down until the solid LED comes up. We're not using control changes because those behave very weird with reason, such as you have to have the switch selected and then they act normally you cannot just press the switch to make a control change right away. We're going to be using notes for that. So that's why we have that selected. Also, I want my expression pedals on. So you need to have those on for each switch. So let's go ahead and edit our note. Since we are on switch one and note value doesn't actually matter because it's not like we're playing a song with our feet, which you could do if you wanted. But we're just going to be doing control changes with notes inside of reason. So the control changes take place in reason, but the FCB is just sending notes. So to choose which parameter we want to edit, if it has a solid LED, press it once and it'll start blinking and hit enter. And this is where you choose your note. I already have it set as one, but to enter a value, all you gotta do is hit any of these numbers or use an expression pedal. And since I want one, I'm just gonna hit one and then hit enter. Now for our expression pedals, let's go ahead and do expression pedal A. Have it selected so it's blinking. Hit enter. Now we want this to also be one. We're gonna hit enter. This will be the minimum value, which we want is zero, zero. Again, you can use the expression pedal to set that. Hit enter, this will be our max value, which I want is 127, but if you wanted it as something lower, you could say 95, so that when you're using this, it'll only go up to the value of 95, or whatever you have it assigned to. But I want that max, so I'm gonna hit enter. And to save this, all you gotta do is hold down, down again. Oops, went too far. And it'll bring us back to this menu. Now, here's the part that really sucks. You have to do this for each switch because each switch is independent. But just so you know, as you go through each one, change its note value so it is different than the previous one. Since I had one here, switch two will be two. And going all the way to switch 10, let's go ahead and just take a look at that. Let's enter our edit mode. Hit enter, hit our switch our note switch, hit enter again, you can see that the note is 10. So we're gonna hit enter, enter to save that, and down to exit out. So that is how that works. Let's go ahead and open up Reason. Let's go to our preferences, and add a new controller. Uh, manufacturer is going to be other, and make sure the MIDI control keyboard is selected because we're sending note. We want Reason to see notes as a value coming in. And let's just name that to FCB 1010. And for the port, hit find, press down your pedal and it'll find the port for me. It is the micro light port four. The micro light is what I use to connect all of my hardware devices to reason for live shows. So that is why I'm connected to that right now and hit okay. And you can see that's been added. So we can exit out of that. And if we create a combinator now, we can right click on one of the buttons or knobs, hit edit remote override, and press down one of the switches. Now you can see it says control as keyboard. If we press the switch again, and again, you can see it changes to CC23. We do not want it to say CC23. We want it to have this keyboard setting. So once it says keyboard, you know you're good. You can hit OK. And now when you hit that switch, it'll change between them. We can do the same thing for all the other switches. Just press your key and it'll find it, hit OK. So now you can switch between those just fine. Since we set up our expression pedals, that also means we can assign those to say a knob. Let's do expression pedal A on this one. 
so you can see that changes the knob and for our mod wheel oh, I already have something assigned for that looks like it was already there expression pedal B so we can now control our mod wheel with expression pedal B if you have any questions post them in the comments I know this is kind of confusing if you want to see anything else done with the FCB and reason go ahead and let me know and I will make a future video on that because I do plan on making more videos using the FCB thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later